Hello. I was walking down the street the other day and a clown jumps out of the bushes. He puts a gun to my head and he says, express this into partial fractions or I kill you. What do I do? I look at him straight in the face and I said, you're picking on the wrong man. And on a serious note, how we express something like that into partial fractions? I mean, uh, a lot of people will probably skip uh, through this lecture and say, oh, partial fractions, how hard can it be? This is enrichment and I have it as a six star, uh, as a joke perhaps. Uh, there are no six star questions in my, in my work, but I wouldn't dare put that in even a special paper of mine because unless you've seen one of these and you know how it's done, uh, the, the normal techniques uh, do not quite work. It'll be a, a time-wasting exercise. So this I want to show you now, how you do something like that. I mean, what is the problem, first of all? Uh, the problem is not the numerator. The problem is the repeated factor, which is x to the power of 5 on the denominator. So if you think about it, something like this will break quite clearly into something, um, a constant over x plus 1, and then you have a constant over x plus 5, sorry, x to the power of 5, but then you can have x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3, x squared, and even x in all of this, possibly all of them, possibly some of them. Okay, so the question is how do we do something like that? Well, we do not use the standard techniques uh, for, for partial fractions of this type, so I'm going to show you a method that I'm using um, in order to, to resolve this into partial fractions, and it goes a little bit like that. First of all, I'm going to write it slightly differently not a major step this one i'm going to write 3x to the 4 just the numerator as we have it in here plus 2x squared plus x minus 2 over the x plus 1 and next to it in a multiplicative sense i'm going to write the 1 over x to the power of 5. Now, what do I do with something like this? Well, I'm going to do a long division, but I'm going to do this long division in a very, very strange way. It's not a way that you expect it to do. I'm going to divide that by that, but backwards. So what does that mean? Well, this is what it means. I'm going to write the x plus 1 as 1 plus x. So in ascending uh, order of powers of x, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the numerator. So minus 2 plus x plus 2x squared uh, plus x cubed plus 3x to the power of 4. And uh, I wish I didn't have to show you long division because uh, I, I do my long division not in a standard way and writing it backwards as well is going to be even worse. So this is now my long division. Try to follow it. Uh, 1 into minus 2. It goes, of course, quite clearly, minus 2 times. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, plus 2. Minus 2 times x, minus 2x, plus 2x. I'll draw a line here, all the way across, and this will cancel, and I'm going to get 3x plus 2x squared, plus x cubed, plus 3x to the power of 4. Okay, what happens next? I repeat, 1 into 3x, it goes 3x times. 1 times 3x is 3x minus 3x. 3x times x is 3x squared, positive, minus 3x squared. Quite crazy, isn't it, at the moment? Cancel this, and now I'm getting a minus x squared plus x cubed plus 3x to the power of 4. Okay, I continue. Okay, 1 into minus x squared, quite clearly, minus x squared times. 1 times minus x squared is minus x squared plus x squared. x times minus x squared is minus x cubed plus x cubed. These things cancel, and I've got 2x cubed plus 3x to the 4. Do I continue? Of course, how far will I continue until I get something that works with this 1 over x to the 5? You'll see in a minute when I'm going to stop. Because this particular division does not finish. It, will, it, it can go on forever. Okay, 
uh, 1 into 2x cubed it goes of course 2x cubed times 1 times 2x cubed 2x cubed minus 2x cubed uh, x times 2x cubed is 2x to the 4 minus 2x to the power of 4 this will cancel and I got x to the 4 this is if you want my remainder for what I've got in here but I want to continue I want to continue one more step so I continue 1 into x to the 4 it goes of course x to the 4 times 1 times x to the 4 is x to the 4 minus x to the 4 and lastly x times x to the 4 is x to the 5 minus x to the power of 5 and of course this cancels and I've got now minus x to the power of 5 and this is what happens next I'm going to write my f of x I've done this division in a very perverse in a very strange way so when I divide it in the way I did I've got this is my answer so I'm going to write it exactly as I've got it in there I'm gonna put it in a bracket or actually let's write this 1 over x to the 5 first so this is this term here and then inside the bracket I will have my answer which is minus 2 plus 3x minus x squared plus 2x cubed plus x to the 4 and of course we've got this bit here which is of course a minus x to the 5 still to be divided by 1 plus x I have no reason now to write as 1 plus x we might as well write it as x plus 1 and all is left for me now is to multiply these brackets out and of course when I do so I'm going to get negative 2 over x to the 5 plus 3 over x to the 4 minus 1 over x cubed plus 1 over x lastly that's why I stopped at where I stopped because I wanted to just cancel my last uh, term because of the x to the 5 in there and of course uh, when I do the last item it's going to be the 1 over x plus 1 and I managed to resolve my f of x into partial fractions quite clinically and quite uh, effectively who's laughing now <laughs>